I'm really upset. And I think that I should let you know. I was waiting for the announced video to be shown. And that confirmed the reports that I've been having all along. Officers of Customs, you are Ghanaian citizens. You have to help us to build a better Ghana. But if this is the kind of behavior, this is the kind of attitude that you have, you are not helping us in any way. Indeed, today, I came to express my disgust and my revulsion at the way some of you are helping to erode the benefits that we are making or we have to give to our people. You are in charge of revenue. Every day we hear reports about malpractices. People collecting bribes with careless abandon. People who think that they are entitled to take bribes. How can we get rid of corruption? I'm not saying that nobody should appreciate the work that you are doing. But when you make it a condition, somebody should give you some money before you perform your duties. I've known Carson for quite some time. I was Commissioner of Internal Revenue. And the announced video confirmed the fears I've had for quite some time. Look at yourself. I want to talk very frankly to you. Somebody joins customs. Two, three years, the person is putting up a building. The person owns a car. In what organization will it take you three years to build? And it is not the exception. It is the rule. Very often, my Minister for Finance is worried about the fiscal gap that we have. And your duty is to collect, to display transparency in the way you operate. And I'm happy with the initiative that General Mode has taken. And I give him my full support. My brothers and sisters, let me be very honest with you. If it means transferring everybody, I will give him the authority to do so. If it means changing all the people in customs, I will do so. Because we do not owe anybody anything. But I know there are good people amongst you. The good people should be influencing the bad ones. Because your reputation now has been soiled. And this is something that we have known all along. And I want to use this occasion to send a signal to your colleagues at Aflau. I am aware of what they are doing. And very soon we will descend on them. And then DVLA, one of these days, they will find me there. My brothers and sisters, this is a good opportunity for us to showcase Ghana. This is the gateway. When people want to do investment in Ghana, they come to the gateway and they are met with corruption. Go and come, go and come, go and come. Because there are some who don't want the reds. You want the blue. You want the pink. You will collect the green and the other colors. Yes. Don't be surprised that today I'm in an angry mood. And I have every reason to be angry. Because you are depriving the generality of the people of their entitlement. Look at the number of people who can hardly make ends meet. Look at the number of people who cannot go to school because we don't have the resources. Look at the number of people who go to school under trees. Look at the number of people who cannot even have access to medical care. And we need the revenue to be able to do that. And what is happening? The money you collect does not belong to you. It belongs to the nation. And nobody has a right to appropriate what belongs to the nation. And I've told General Modi that he has every right to do what he thinks is right. Of course, some allegations have also been made against GCNet, their day of reckoning is also going to come. I'm not going to judge them on the basis of this. 
but the matter must be investigated and let me also say this who is watching the watchman you have security agencies which are operating here i wish that the revelations from anas could have come to me through the security agencies which are here no that has not been the case you have a situation where all kinds of task forces have been created there are people who come here throwing their weight around dropping names of so-called high ups i've told general modi and i'm telling you if anybody comes with the president's name the first thing you should do is to arrest that person.